hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel but today i'm going to be filming my new year resolutions for 2021 as i do every single year this year was you know just pretty crazy and everything um i was even gonna um tell you guys my resolutions for 2020 and tell you if i've accomplished them but if you want me to be real i haven't accomplished a damn thing on that list and i and I'm not even going to blame it on Corona. So, yeah. Um, so I thought I would film my New Year resolutions for 2021. I know everybody is hoping that this year is much better and everything. So to be honest with you guys, I want to be honest with you. And I'm not really that excited for 2021. I don't really have anything set in stone or anything like that. But um, I still like to do these resolutions, you know, every single year and whatnot. Um, but I did want to tell you guys my honest opinion about, you know, 2021 and how I feel. And I don't think it's going to be, you know, much different. I do think it'll be a little bit better, but I don't think it'll be, like, much different or anything crazy like that. I'll tell you guys my resolutions. This is my last video of 2020. So, yeah, I know, really sad. But, yeah, let's just get into these resolutions. And, yeah, and I hope you guys like my setup. I decided to input my Christmas tree in the video i hope it's not like too distracting or anything like that you know i keep my christmas decorations up until even after new year's so yeah anyways without further ado let's just get into my resolution Alrighty, guys so let's hop into this well my first resolution is to go out more and take myself out on dates so yeah i definitely want to go out more i feel like this is always a resolution for me and it's just something that i don't really like do like i just don't implement in my life i mean at least this year I had an excuse i couldn't really go out if even if i wanted to. sorry um yeah so i couldn't even go out even if i wanted to because of you know corona and everything like that that's really out of my control there's really nothing i could do um, but I still want to take the effort to go out more, start going on walks, being more active. If I've learned anything in 2020, I think it's to be more active. Like, um, I kind of like started working out. I don't want to sound like, oh, yeah, look at me. Like, I started working out. But the beginning, like, when this first happened, like the beginning of quarantine or whatever, and it really did help um, to just, like, get my body moving and all that stuff. And I never thought that that was important because... As you guys know, I'm somebody who, you know, doesn't really work out, is not active, never have been active, never have been raised to really be active and all that. But, you know, in 2020, I decided to change that. Like now I'm trying to like stretch when I wake up and do all these things. Just like movement and being active is something that has just become very important to me. Oh, like I enjoy doing, I love doing because it just never was something that I enjoy doing don't think it ever will be um learning the importance of it now but yeah i'm also learning to just go out more and how even just going out for maybe 5 10 15 20 minutes it's something and it does something to your mind there are days i told you i expressed this to you guys if you guys don't watch my podcast please make sure you tune into that but i talked a little bit about going out and i also talked about how staying in just does a lot to you um, and I just never really realized that because um, I told you guys how some days I would just wake up feeling sad or feeling depressed or feeling some type of way and I'll be in moods like that and then the next day I'll go out and I'll feel 10 times better. Like yesterday I went out for a walk for like 20 minutes. It was something really simple. I came back. I felt so much better. It'd be scared for you to go out. Your parents might be scared for you to go out. But at the same time, it's like you need it. You need it need it that's why we have outside that's why we have fresh air carbon dioxide so one thing that i actually wanted to do was to take myself out on dates like i wanted to go out by myself maybe like go take myself out for lunch or go out to eat or something like that all by myself um, i'm actually somebody i guess who's afraid to like go out by myself like for example i don't even think i would ever go to like the movies by myself i just think that it's like weird and I don't know, I just wouldn't do it. Like, my brother has no problem doing that. And it's like, I could, like, never. I just think that it's weird. Certain things I don't mind going doing by myself. Like, maybe, like, shopping or something. But, like, going to the movies, like, I could never. What inspired this was, I was actually out with a friend one time. And we um, went to get something to eat. And there was, like, just this old man, like, sitting by himself eating. And he was all by himself. And I'm like, look at that man. Like, he looks lonely. 
but he was just like enjoying himself sitting no worries and i was just kind of like staring at him like but yeah like who cares you know like nobody's looking at you i always feel like everybody's looking at me especially when i'm by myself it's like oh my god it feels like the whole world is just watching me but nobody's watching you nobody cares it's okay to be by yourself i'm starting to learn the importance of being by myself trying to enjoy that time of my that time with myself because guess what you came into this world by yourself and you're gonna leave by yourself all right another thing is to be more independent as you guys know i just turned 19 and um i just want to be more independent this is always a resolution for me even last year this was a resolution and it's something that I'm struggling with because I don't feel like I know how to be independent. I don't know how to take those steps into being more independent. But I just want to try to try to do things um, by myself, try to do things that I normally wouldn't do um, on my own and try to do them on my own. Like I said, going out by myself, that's definitely something that's probably going to make me more independent. Things that I want to start doing, maybe start washing my own clothes um, and stuff like that. I don't know, just doing things that i normally wouldn't do i just want to be more independent so one is to be closer to god pray more to god maybe even read the bible yeah i want to definitely get closer to god again this feels repeated um so yeah i just want to get closer to god i'm not saying that like i'm not close with god or whatever because i am but um, there are some days where I just won't pray or just, you know, won't talk to God. But I just want to make sure that in 2021 that um, I can just, you know, talk to God more, pray more. Um, I wrote down reading the Bible. I'm not really sure how I feel on that, um, on reading the Bible, but maybe I can start getting into it a little bit. So, yeah. But the reason why I wrote this down is because people always like people who are very religious and you know talk highly about god talk about the things that he's done for them and everything i just never really felt that in a sense like i don't even know how to explain it like i'm not gonna say like god didn't do anything good in my life because obviously he did because i'm here you know what i'm saying that like people always felt like some people have moments where they feel like god spoke to them or god did this or god did that and i just feel like i can't really relate in that sense i've always felt like some sort of distance um so i really want to um take the time to get closer to him whether that's praying to him talking to him reading the bible all that stuff i definitely want to implement him more in my life the next one is to be more confident slash love myself if you guys didn't know i'm kind of on like this self-love journey and i'm trying to do things to just make myself love myself yeah to make me love myself is something that is just super duper important and I can't stress it enough. Yeah, I don't really think I'm the most confident person out there. I'm definitely not insecure. I mean, ooh, let me step back. I feel like when I was younger, I was very insecure and I did not want to admit that. I was definitely insecure. Maybe I'm still a little insecure and I don't want to admit it. Um, but I just want to be more confident, start loving myself, not caring about what people think, which is actually one of my next resolutions. So um yeah i definitely want to do that um so yeah next thing is to find out my more of my hobbies so this is a really interesting one because i feel like you know part of being a teenager and part of growing up is finding what you like and what you like to do and all that stuff I'm quite honest with you i'm still figuring it out i feel like i still don't know who i am and i still don't know what i like to do and i know a lot of other people are struggling with that too whenever you're getting to know someone so you know when you're trying to get to know someone and they ask you like oh what do you like to do or what's your hobbies and i feel like for me i'm always so boring i always just mention like i like to watch youtube um if i really want to you know say more i'll say i like to watch youtube i like to listen to music which is true I like to watch, do I say I like to watch you? Like I like to watch Netflix, um, I like to play around with makeup or go shopping and those are all great things but I just feel like there's more to me. There's more stuff that I can learn how to do because I really just don't know how to do crap and I'm not the only one which is great which I had to learn to myself because that was an insecurity which is probably why I wrote this down was I always felt like I don't know how to do crap and stuff like that and that was just like really weighing me down make me feel bad make me even feel worthless even though i had to teach myself that i'm not you know worthless i believe everybody has skills even if it's not like visible i think just even being kind to someone or just 
being a good person, whatever, those are like good skills to have. Anyways, I'm like venting. I just wanna find more things I like to do, whether it's like painting or, I don't know, just something else that I like to do besides just like watching YouTube or something. There's nothing wrong with those things. It's just that I feel like there's more to me and there's more I can say when people ask me what I like to do. Um, the next one I'm going to go through quickly. I said get my life together and just get out of the past. Um, I, found out, I found out that this year I was just reminiscing a lot about the past, thinking a lot about the, yeah, thinking a lot about the past and... I need to kind of teach myself to not think so much about the past. I'm definitely the type of person, I always say that I'm thinking about the past or I'm thinking about the future. There's no in between. It's very rare I'm thinking about the present and that's really bad because you should really live in the moment. Yeah, so I'm always worrying about the past, saying I should have done this, I should have done that. I did that today, literally today, like an hour ago before I started filming this stressing worrying thinking so much about the future getting anxiety over thinking about the future something i have no control of i mean i do have control of it in a sense but i can't really help what's going to happen you know what i'm saying and i'm stressing so much about it and i just don't want to worry about that and i just want to get my life together in 2021 whatever that means we're just gonna have to see Whew, the next one I just want to go off on because it's so annoying, but I want to stop worrying about the tiniest things and stop overthinking. Oh my God. I overthink so much and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I overthink so much. Like I think about the littlest things. I think about things that you, yes, you watching this probably don't even think about and I don't even know why it's so annoying and I just feel like life is just way too short to be worrying about the tiniest things things that don't matter it's easier said than done because like my mind just automatically thinks like I will think about the tiniest things for days guys days ridiculous. like I just scratched myself but it's ridiculous like uh stop overthinking life is literally too short and it's to stop worrying about what people think yeah this is something that i struggle with and i always say like you know i don't care about what people think yeah i do i definitely do and i need to stop worrying um i talked about this in a a podcast episode but not to worry about you know what people think people because at the end of the day people are always going to have assumptions about you people are always going to think that they know everything about you people are always going to have like some sort of made up thing about you they might be right, they might be wrong, who knows? But at the end of the day, it's you who knows you best and knows if those people are right or wrong. And it shouldn't really matter what these people think. It's you and it's your body. You know what I'm saying? So you need to stop worrying about what people think. The next one is to do more makeup tutorials and possibly hauls on YouTube. So yeah, to start doing more makeup tutorials. It's funny because this channel started out as like a makeup beauty channel and I kind of like went away from that because i feel like i grew out of that literally yeah i want to start doing makeup tutorials because i feel like i've definitely gotten a lot better at makeup and i feel like you guys haven't really seen that progress so i definitely want to start doing more makeup to makeup tutorials if you guys have requests let me know definitely want to start doing that i also want to do hauls because i know how much you guys love my haul videos and i do go shopping pretty frequently so that is something that i feel like i can do pretty frequently definitely want to bring back those hauls and bring back occasional makeup makeup tutorials it's not gonna be you know all my content is gonna be because I do not want to be that like youtuber anymore but um yeah the next one is I want my podcast to flourish in 2021 I started my own podcast make sure you guys go check it out girls bond together link in the description or you could just scroll and see you know the videos are right there because I do upload them to YouTube as well. Oh so, yeah, um, I just want it to flourish. You know, I started it out and I ended up actually really enjoying it. It's like I'm talking to a friend or something and we're just catching up, which is the vibe that I wanted. So podcast, you know, leave feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the channel, you know, definitely because I have more coming, coming soon. So yeah, I'm definitely loving the podcast and I want it to flourish in 2021 existence so will happen all right so the next one will make more friends possibly a best friend um yeah i just want to get out there be more sociable put myself out there i am not the most outgoing person in the world to be completely honest with you um probably the shyest person in the world but um i want to just get out there put myself out there be more sociable don't be afraid to talk to people 
because it's like literally I have like a fear of literally talking to people because I don't want to come off as like awkward or embarrassing that's my literal fear because I feel like I always find a way to embarrass myself and make myself awkward that's just how I feel like I just always find a way to embarrass myself and I get embarrassed super easily so that could be what it is but um yeah I just want to put myself out there be more sociable make friends meet new people you know it's just important it's important to me um so yeah for some people friends making friends may not be all that important and it isn't really to me I mean how do I explain this it isn't like important I guess but like I feel like it's one of the great things about life so one thing that I've also learned in 2020 is like growing up is like a beautiful thing and it's probably one of the best things about life. Actually like my brother who kind of made me realize that. I think another great thing about life is building relationships and good relationships no matter what type of relationship that is, family, friends, significant other, whatever. Um, building companionship and building friendships is one of the beautiful things in life, especially if it's like true and it's real and that person, you know, actually wants to, you know, be friends with you. Um, I just think that is great like I love hearing people who are like 50s in their 60s and they're best friends with someone and they're like oh my god I've been friends with this person since we were like you know 15 or something like that like I love hearing that because I think that's a great part about life I don't know that's my opinion for some people it might not matter but I think relationships is important no matter in what aspect they are it is personal so we won't say it out loud uh, next one is to continue my self-love journey pretty self-explanatory i want to continue you know that self-love all that stuff next one is to start journaling more i definitely want to start writing down my feelings more because i noticed also in 2020 that i'm not really so i'm a pretty let me just say this i'm a pretty sensitive person and i'm a pretty sensitive person i'm not really afraid hold on, really afraid to get vulnerable with somebody I don't really think I'm a surface level type of person I also explained this in an episode of my podcast but I like to have a deep conversations deeper convos when I'm trying to talk to someone or I'm trying to you know get to know someone I really like to just you know I want to know your biggest fear I want to know like what what you like to do you know stuff like that your thing about yourself your favorite thing about somebody that you like like all that stuff like I like to know those kind of things and I'm not afraid to get vulnerable. I'm not afraid to show my feelings, express my emotions. That's just how I've always been. I know some people are, or you need to change that because it will change your life. I promise. Um, but what did I say? What was I even talking about? What, where am I going with this? Y'all, I literally forgot, but yeah, I'm not really afraid to, oh, I was talking about journaling. So yeah, but I realized that like, I don't really have somebody that I go to when it comes to like venting all the time. I'll occasionally go to like maybe like my brother or my mom or something, but I don't usually like always express how I feel. I feel like a lot of times I keep it in a lot of the time and I feel like I need to journal, I need to write it down. So I wanna start doing that more. So definitely in 2021. I'm somebody who likes to write, so it won't be hard. So yeah, all right, so the last one that I have is pretty interesting. Um, I want to take more driving lessons. I explained this actually in my last podcast. I do have my permit, but I don't know how to fucking drive. So when I drive, um, I did take some lessons in driver's ed, but I definitely need a lot more. I think I need a lot more practice. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know the basics, but obviously I need more practice and everything like that. So that in 2021 and just start learning how to drive and even get my license that would be great i will get my license in 2021 let's see you have to speak it into existence you have to manifest it so yeah comment down below if you guys uh, believe in manifestation because i do you guys those were my new year resolutions for 2021 i really hope that i can accomplish all of them and all that i just really hope that 2021 is a better year for you yes you watching this and i just hope that it's a better year overall it's a better year for everyone because i know that it was just a really like hard and sucky year for everyone um, so yeah but it is new year's eve um as i'm filming this i don't know if it'll be new year's when i upload this video but just happy new year i hope 2021 is everything that you want it to be and so much more and yeah thank you guys so much for watching it's my last video of 2020 
and yeah guys i'll see you guys in 2021 make sure to um comment like and subscribe because you never know when i'll post and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys